What's up? I'm Lambo, and me and my boy J-Rob went and took a lift for the first time ever. It was quite an adventure. I don't think we had any idea going into this just how much this would change our lives forever. Real downhill is incredibly extreme, even more extreme when you come from Florida and it's 40 degrees outside. Believe it or not, to Floridians, that is freezing. So we did the right thing and we got some beer in us before making our first descent. A beer goes a long way on a cold day when you are not used to this speed and the sheer violence of riding this type of terrain. We linked up with some people that were nice enough to kind of show us around and that was great for us because it, we're noobs. This is our first time. I found the trail's speed to be a surprise, frankly. At first, there was a learning curve. You certainly don't just get out there and shred it like you want to on your first try. However, after a couple of trips down, started really getting dialed into the flow of the trail and uh, instead of surviving the trail I was actually picking my line and having fun getting a little bit of air I'm not a Red Bull guy or anything but but when I started biking like five years ago my ass was on the seat and the tires were on the ground Coming down uh, this first time, I really had no idea if I was going to hit this or not, but I said, uh, fuck it, and I hit the drop, and it was awesome. So much speed, so much fun. Let's do it again. Uh, it was super cold when we first started our ride, but as the day progressed, it got warmer and just turned into a beautiful day. All the riders were out. It was awesome. There is something to be said about just riding a lift to the top and then bombing down. Um, actually, I had no idea at the time, uh, but this would be pivotal in my decision making in life. After this trip, we had a different perspective on biking and for me, living in Florida was just no longer an option. So yeah, I moved to Asheville, North Carolina recently and it's been like a dream ever since. So definitely made a good choice there. If you've never done the lifts before, I highly recommend it. It's, um, it's a hell of a way to spend your day and really it's not expensive like I would have thought. Like a lift pass is not that bad and the beer is tasty. I mean at the top of the run they have a bar up there with craft brew. It is um, it's paradise. Oh my god I want to be riding right now. <laughs> So these two people that we linked up with were really cool and they convinced us to branch out and try the Black Diamonds and uh, I was not a believer because the green trails were pretty fucking scary at first but uh, yeah, I said let's do it. You think I can do it? I'm, uh, then I'll do it. And shit, if it wasn't a whole lot of fun. So glad that we met them. I don't know that I would have tried those trails they hadn't convinced me. Now, this was also some of the most technical riding that I've ever done. Gigantic 
boulders and rocks and the GoPro, <laughs> no excuses, but does not do it justice uh, in terms of the speed and the uh, steep incline that you're actually going down and the size of the drops. Like that last drop was one of the biggest drops I've ever done in my life. Towards the end of our run, I got a little cocky and decided to really try to take flight, which was a pretty good plan and all. Um, however, you know, shit happens. And bam. But I did not hit the ground. I ran that shit out. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but I never ever uh, hit the ground. I, I ran like a son of a bitch. So yeah, you know, at the end of this day, I think I knew, I think my buddy J-Rob, he knew, we all knew, God, once you do something like this, you can't go back. There's no going back. I, I fucking love downhill now, and that's gonna be it for me. When I originally uploaded this video, YouTube banned it because I used Foles and 21 Pilots and a couple other uh, modern bands. So thank you, YouTube, for cock blocking me. But that's okay. I will find a way to get my video out there, bitch. So yeah, um, don't be discouraged if you haven't tried a, a lift before. I'm sure that my experience is very similar to what you will go through. There is a learning curve. Even if you rip it up on a lot of trails around Asheville like Bent Creek or uh, Mulberry Gap in Georgia, Blankets Creek in Atlanta, uh, there is a difference when you get on uh, this incredibly steep mountain. You really just take your time the first time down and you'll get you'll get used to it and by the end of the day you'll just be having a blast this day this day of riding left me with like a, a boner that lasted weeks probably didn't need to tell you that but you understand The first time I hit that giant rock, I nearly died. People that were riding the lift saw me like skidding across it and they were like, woo, yeah man, rock and roll. And I was like, yeah, but in my mind, I was like, I did not mean to do that. That was luck and I'm so glad to be alive and well. I think we probably took the lift a total of seven to ten times this day. We rode our asses off and were completely wiped out uh, by the end, just absolutely dead. But man, it's, it's going to be something that I remember and cherish for the rest of my life. Um, this will definitely go down as one of the greatest days ever for me and my boy J-Rob. Uh, you know, we, we did the right thing and, and we rode our asses off, we had some more beer, and at the end of the day, we found a, a new version of our favorite thing. You know, we've always been mountain bikers, but Florida mountain biking is a little different 
So yeah, thanks for watching my video. Um, please subscribe and like and comment up. Let me know how much better you are than me. I'm sure you're aching and itching to put that comment down there. Go ahead. It's fine. I am not a Red Bull rider. I'm from Florida. I don't care because this was so much fun. there's one truth in the world no matter where you are or where you're riding or how you're riding if you're on a bike you feel like a kid again and that's that's enough <laughs>